What's up, Internet? It's time for another review of Battle Box. So I've got Mission 22 right here. It is the Bush Craftsman. That's the theme this month. So uh, y'all come along with me as we see what's in the Battle Box. All right. Got stuff trying to get out here. As always, we've got the mission card here. It's mission 22 there. Uh, get you a close-up here so you can kind of see it and see the values. I'm going to just kind of roll through this. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about price, so you can refer to the card here. And on the back, we've got the SITRIP, and it is Living the Life, December 2016, Mission 22. So I'm going to try to set this somewhere where I can see it when I need to. First up in the basic box is this gigantic wool. It's 70% wool, 30% synthetic blanket. Um, olive drab, and I mean it's gigantic. It's excellent for bush crafting uh, because you can use this for many different uses, obviously, as a garment, as something to lay down on um, when you're out in the woods, um, something to kind of give you some shelter, keep you warm, and when you're playing a pretending you're a hobbit and you're trying to get through Mordor, you got yourself a cloak. How about that? Isn't that nice? Got bugs on my cloak. What's really cool is right here on the uh, tag, it has got, you know, Battle Box logo and everything on there, which is really cool. So, tear resistant, uh, you know, it's resistant to fire, it uh, somewhat resistant to moisture and stuff like that because it, it's it's woven really tight and it's got those synthetic properties in there too. So um, very durable and useful blanket. Take that thing off for a minute before I start to roast. It's cool out today, but it's not that cool. I'll sit that right there. Next up in basic is a Dragonfire Tender Box. Um, Fatwood fire starter. Now you've seen a few videos and you've seen me talk about on Facebook page and stuff like that talking about fatwood and uh, I think in uh, two videos ago um, we actually went out and found some and, and used it with the uh, cheese grater or whatever that we had there from uh, Mission 20. But uh, this stuff is, is not prevalent all over the United States. Obviously it is in the southeast so we've got a lot of it, but now you have some if you can't find it yourself. So you'll be able to tell that very distinctive smell of the resins and the oils that are built up inside this wood. And basically it's gasoline in a tree, man. It works really, really good. So I'm gonna show you guys us using it here in just a minute after I show you the next item, which is this Moor knife. This is the, uh, what do they call it? It's the Moor Knife Pro C Bushcrafting Knife. Very nice, you know, Swedish steel, Scandi grind, uh, sharp sharpening to it. It's got a very nice blade. It's got a short, uh, short blade on it, but you get a lot of control with it. And um, just a, you know, more knives are quality, man. It's just all there is to it, you know, uh, Swedish. Um, steel and, and all, it's, just, it's a great package. So I'm gonna get down here and show you some fat wood. Let's find a flatter spot for you. Maybe this will work. Now, fat wood is very oily. You've got a lot of resin, as you can see. It's just building up right here. It's really sticky. So that means you got good stuff. And it doesn't take a whole lot to do what you need to do, but I'm gonna try to put a few slivers in here with it. Grind a little bit more. And fat wood is, is it's soft to an extent, but it's also can be really, uh, really hard as well. So let's see if we can get us a little spark going here. 
show you how good this stuff works. There we go. And the good thing is it's kind of the the resins kind of boil in and it and it works really good. It's still very hot. Got a lot of embers there. Got a little wind hit me. Um, so it burns for a pretty good little amount of time. It's not going to just burn away like it would, um, say, if you just gathered some straw or something like that. It actually sit there and kind of boil and, and cook away. So there's you some fat wood, some fatty wood, or fat lighter, lighter knot. There's several different names for it. But excellent stuff, and that piece right there will last you a long time. Unless you're a pyro, like me. Next up is the Bushcraft Bible by James Henry. Nice thick book, and as I always say, books are knowledge, right? Um, people that, uh, that, that write stuff and take the time to put it in a book, for the most part, must have something in there you need to learn. So, um, really nice book. It has, it's got contents of what to pack, your basic knots, building shelters, setting up camp, first aid, uh, hiking and navigating, finding, cooking and preserving food, and the last chapter, outdoor games and fun. So, uh, full spectrum here. Got lots of nice pictures in here. Um, some diagrams, building shelters. Um, just a wealth of knowledge in here. So, um, yeah, shows you how to track a meadow mouse. That sounds tasty. Ooh, there's some deer pictures in here. Set it by your bedside table and get your read on. Sit that right here next to the fire. We're not going to burn it, I promise you. <coughs> Bugs is bothering me. All right, so next on the list is from Zombie Tender. And this is really cool. So it's a blanket pen for your blanket. Um, but the guys at BattleBox, or my employer, I guess you can say, um, he's like, man, we've got a, we got an opportunity to make a multifunctional deal out of this. So talk to Zombie Tender, and this is what they came up with. A lot of blanket pens that you see out there at antique stores, or, or if you can find them online and buy them, they're flattened off on the end so you can't get your pen out. Um, so just like that, I went from a blanket pen to a flint and steel. So it's a multifunctional deal here. And also, I mean, you know, if the need arises, you can put your pen back on and you've got some sort of a, you know, self-defense uh, weapon, so to speak, um, that fits really good in your hand and, you know, you can, you can stop or, or whatever with it as well. But uh, they also sent the flint so that you've got a steel there where, you know, if you got some char cloth or something that, uh, something that'll take a spark, you've got a way to help you start a fire. I'm gonna put the flint away, put my pen back on, grab my Frodo jacket. All right, so you got your blanket here, and you got your, uh, your pen punched through your blanket. One side. Punch through your other side. You rotate your Hang over. It's a little tricky when your blanket gets bunched up. And there's your blanket pin. Now obviously you probably want to overlap it more, but that just kind of shows you how it works. So then you can be all cool. 
break out your magic wand and turn somebody into a frog or something. And when you're ready to disappear, you just do like that right there and you're gone. <laughs> Just like that, I'm back. I need to practice that some more. Ended up somehow in the women's bathroom somewhere in Detroit, I think it was. All right, whew, I'm starting to sweat in this thing. So there's your blanket pin slash flint and steel slash weapon. Put that back in my little bag here. Set it on the rock. All right, so that's everything in basic, but that also includes your ReadyMan membership. So be sure to go to ReadyMan.com and get that going if you haven't already. But next up is this bushcraft style rucksack. This is the first item in the advanced box. That is a really cool rucksack right there. So you've got this you know, old school look to it, bushcrafty look with the buckles and all, but also it's got snaps there. So you don't have to mess with buckles. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. So you got a really large opening here that you can put a lot of gear in, and as well as I guess you could consider that an admin pouch, but uh, you know a separate pouch where you can put things that you don't want to be all collecting down in the bottom. Got a nice large pouch here up front with the snap and buckle as well and two side pockets. And this is canvas, so what you can do, there's plenty of things on the internet where you can go watch where you can waterproof your canvas with beeswax and things like that. It will make it stiffer, but it'll make it a little bit more uh, you know, uh, durable for wet conditions and punctures and things like that, I'm sure, but uh, really nice rucksack there for the bush craftsman. Very cool. So that's the first item in advanced. The second item in, in advanced is from Wazoo. It's a whetstone necklace. How about that? Now, these uh these old school, you know, Viking type whetstones are very durable and they'll last well past your lifetime and into your kid's lifetime and so on. I mean, they're very, very durable and really do a, a really good job putting a nice edge on your blades. Um, matter of fact, my dad has one that, I mean, as far as I can remember, he's had it ever since I could, you know, I could freaking walk. He probably had it before then. And he still uses it as sitting in the top drawer of his toolbox. So. Um, very, very good thing. My dad, you know, you can use water, but my dad would spit on it <laughs> and, and get it moist with spit and put a really nice edge on any of his knives or scissors or anything like that. So um, it's got a necklace there so you can keep it around your neck, give you that bushcraft look, and uh, you're pretty much ready for anything that needs an edge on it. Very cool. The Viking Whetstone Pendant. So that's everything in the advanced box, which also includes the uh, uh, Ready Basic membership at ReadyMan.com. So next up is the Pro Box, and the Pro Box includes this knife making kit from Pathfinder School, Dave Canterbury. Uh, so it comes with everything you need minus your tools to do, to do it. Uh, you've got your blade here that's got some oil on it and it's wrapped up in plastic your handle and some pins. And uh, I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna clip here to, uh, to me putting one together uh, for myself here. I've got a video on my YouTube channel that you can refer to, but here's a, a shot of me putting it together. So really all you need is some basic hand tools, some sandpaper, some Gorilla Glue, a couple clamps, and some oil to put on the handle, and you're good to go. You got a really nice knife that, that you put together, and uh, you know, you can kind of give it any kind of look you want. Also, uh, it comes with a DVD that 
shows you how to do it. So it's a DVD with Dave Canterbury uh, putting together this exact knife kit right here. So that's your pro item right there. So that's two knives so far from basic to pro. Sit that right there. So next up is the Pro Plus. Oh yeah, and the Pro gets the Ready Man Premium membership at ReadyMan.com as well in that package. So next up is the Pro Plus, which is freaking awesome, guys. Uh, let me break out this right here to open up the Pro Plus. How about that? Whew, that's sharp. That's sharp. So this is the Top Snives Cub. So let me tell you a little bit about Topps Knives, man. This, this knife right here that's in this sheath, including this sheath, was completely assembled by American human beings and not machines, okay? Um, they put these together by hand. They put the sheaths together. They sew the sheath, everything, man. I mean, this is a very high quality knife right here um, with an excellent sheath. Well, there you go, the Topps Knives Cub. Don't you just hate when things don't go to plan? I sure do. So, uh, the clips for the video with the, uh, with the Pro Plus knife um, are gone. I don't have any close-ups uh, from the second camera of the Topps Knife, so um, to keep you guys from having to see this, me just talking about it and you not being able to really see it, I'm going to talk about it real quick here and put it in the video that you're watching now. Miracle, right? So let me sit you down. So here's the Topps knife. This is the Pro Plus knife of the month from Mission 22. Very, very cool knife. Um, I got the soapstone here that, that also can... Uh, in the box that didn't come with the knife. This is the, uh, the Viking soapstone. So what you have here is a really nice sheath here. And what's really cool about this knife is it's hand made. I mean, it's put together uh, by human beings here in the United States of America. <laughs> um, assembled the whole nine yards very very nice knife as you can see i've got some blemishes here from where i've been using this knife i've been using this knife pretty pretty heavy here since uh since uh had it for testing um uh, before the boxes ever went out obviously so this is my tops knife here uh, this is the cub as you can see here it says cub and on the side there made in the usa um so very good knife man Full tang all the way down. Really nice micarta uh, handle. Um, has this divot here on each side for a bow drill. And I also filmed me using a bow drill that I don't have with me right now. Um, so I'll have to show you guys that on another video. But works really good. Um, I don't know how well you can tell here with the focusing or not, but I mean, there's very little to nowhere in the divots where I was using it as a bow drill. Also has the divots here for your thumb, your finger. Very, very nice knife. They coat the uh, the handle here in beeswax, so it's very durable and uh, has very little to no friction with your spindle when you use this as your bearing for your uh, for your bow drill. And again, like I said, put together by hand, very, very high quality, very sharp, very, very good knife right here. So we'll talk about, let me not do that on my uncle's picnic table. Talk about the, uh, the sheath here. It's a very nice sheath. It has a plastic insert so that you don't have to worry about your blade cutting into your stitching at all. Uh, has a way here to capture the handle and full cover with snap there. Also has this little pouch here in the front that you can use to, you know, make you a little survival kit or whatever and put in there, but it also fits the soapstone that came in the mission as well. Very, very 
very good. So that's a great place to put that. What else is nice about the sheave is if you don't want to have the cover on the front, you can take that off to keep your knife exposed. Has webbing on the back from Mala Gear, belt loop, so you can put it on a pack or on your belt. And it also has this leg la uh, leg string, leg lanyard here that you can wrap around or just stow it up like I did then um, and have it as paracord for when you need it. So um, also put together by hand. Very, very well put together. Really nice stitching. Great sheath for this knife. So that's the Pro Plus. The Tops Knives Cub. Sorry about the camera screwing up, guys. Very good, high quality knife as the Pro Plus knife of the month. And also, Pro Plus, you get the Ready Premium membership at ReadyMan.com. So be sure to utilize that because that's an excellent resource to have. That's everything in this month's box. So you ended up with three blades, a way to, uh, you know, close up and cinch up your blanket with the blanket pin and start a fire. You got some fat wood here, whetstone for keeping your blade sharp, a Bible, bushcraft Bible to teach you a few things. Again, the Mora knife, <clears throat> the knife of the month, the cub, and one that you can customize and make for yourself, you know, include your kids in it with you, and let them help you make that knife. Directions right here from Dave Canterbury. An awesome pack to put everything in. In your magical blanket right here. So you can disappear when you need to. So that is the Bush Craftsman Mission 22 Battle Box. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to like and comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the Battle Box channel. And if Battle Box is something that you are interested in, you want to check out it, go to battlebox.com. You can find out more there. All my videos are on there. You can check them out, see if there's a package that fits your budget, and give it a try. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So we'll see you on the next Battle Box video in Mission 23. See y'all. I'm gone. Let me try again. Dang it. Come on. It's broke. I think I cracked something. <laughs>